Patients who have cataracts and diabetes have two problems to deal with. The diabetic issue is one where the blood vessels in the back of the eye can sometimes leak. They can leak with or without cataract surgery. That's what's known as diabetic retinopathy. And the longer you have diabetes, the more this can become a problem. Diabetes, as you may know, is compromised by two issues. One of them would be sugar, and one of them is a blood vessel issue. When you have blood vessel issues with diabetes, it can affect your eyesight in the retina, your kidneys, or your toes. So we know it's not just a sugar problem, it's also a blood vessel issue. So when we do the cataract surgery in the front part of the eye, we don't go anywhere near the retina. But a lot of patients with diabetes will already have leaky blood vessels. The blood vessels can leak fluid, they can leak fatty material, this can get into the retina and cause loss of vision. So if we have a patient who has an eye with cataract in the front, diabetic changes in the back, the portion of the problem that we can fix will be the portion caused by the cataract itself. What they have going on in the back can't be fixed by the cataract surgery. It can, however, once it is seen better after the cataract is removed, Sometimes we can actually do more work with laser in the back of the eye to improve the function of the blood vessels and actually make the diabetic retinopathy better. So if you have both problems, this is 50%, this is 50%, the portion of your visual handicap caused by the cataract will be 50%. If it's 60-40, 70-30, that's the portion that we can fix. The remaining portion will be your diabetic problem. In addition, when we do cataract surgery, we're working only in the front of the eye, as I mentioned before. That will create a very microscopic amount of chemical which will pass through everybody's eye during cataract surgery and soon after, in the ensuing weeks. That little bit of chemical will get to the focusing point, the macula in the back of the eye, and can cause a little swelling or edema. If you bang your ankle, it swells, that's water and that's edema. If you get a little microscopic drop of fluid here in the macula, that's going to blur your vision. Rarely is it significant. It can happen in small amounts, but it usually doesn't cause a great problem. So a non-diabetic can have surgery, and get a little bit of fluid there, maybe 2% of the time. A diabetic might get fluid back there 10 or 20% of the time. We give all patients nowadays medication a week ahead of time. That medication will help to prevent the buildup of fluid by being there before the actual surgery so that the medicine is there to prevent the fluid from coming in the first place. That way, your macula stays healthier. Should you develop some edema after cataract surgery and it bothers your vision, it can usually be improved very significantly 85 to 92 percent of the time. So even if you do get some, it's not the end of the road. We can do a lot with it, but it is a rare occurrence for it to be significantly bad. If you have hemorrhaging because you have severe diabetic retinopathy, remember, I'm only working in the front part of the eye. Things can happen in the back part of the eye as a separate process.